Hey folks, Stu from Evolution Unleashed, back with another daily video. Cut and all, almost healed, the joy of HD video, folks. Now, today, we're going to be talking about image creation. I've got some free value for you in the form of a DALI 3 style guide. It's going to help you elevate your imagery and your content game. Why is that important? Well, before we give you the free value and show you this amazing guide that I've built for you, I want to tell you why you need to be paying attention. Look, we've been saying for a year, disruption is coming. I don't know how much louder I can ring the bell, folks. Ding, 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 dong. I feel like that town crier trying to warn everybody. Disruption is coming. But folks, it's not coming. It's here. Last week, I showed you in a video, uh, Klarna laying off 700 staff. And they have laid them off uh, because they have a chatbot that can do their job better. 2.3 million calls in a month with uh, collapse down the amount of time it took to solve problems and the satisfaction rating was the same. So how can you compete with that? The simple fact is you can't. But check this out, JP Morgan, another huge company. JP Morgan says this AI cash flow software cut human work by almost 90%. Holy heck, that is a huge number. Now imagine that through every industry where every workflow is collapsed by 90%. And that's the future we're heading into. Now, look, humans are slow to adapt. This disruption won't be as fast as we think, but it will accelerate from here because as these big companies see this stuff, they're going to start implementing these solutions themselves, and that's going to have some kind of downsides. So what this community is all about and what I keep ringing this bell is to help prepare you and give you the skills you're going to need to either pivot or adapt what you're doing in order to not be one of those people falling through the cracks and to actually survive. Now, at the end of the day, folks, I think AI is coming for us all. Um, you know, that disruption is going to be pretty impressive once AGI comes out and it can do everything a human can do intellectually. And we're not probably that far away when you see how quickly these models are developing. Claude 3 actually jumped over GPT-4. I'm sure OpenAI will be punching back very, very soon. But uh, we're, we're heading headlong into this AI era. And the simple fact is, if it's going to come for us all, here's my strategy. Outlast. It's kind of like Survivor. Outlast, outwit, and so on. You know, I want to be one of the last that are disrupted so that by the time it gets to me, the solutions have already been um, uh, thought through and implemented uh, or it was all for nothing anyway. Uh, I'm not a doomer. I think, you know, this tool is going to have dramatic impact on our society. It will be a bit messy, but I think ultimately it's going to be for the greater good, especially when people like you and I start using it to create impact and real world value. Anyway, enough bell ringing. Let's go upskill our content game so that at least when we're creating content, we can uh, stand out. And the fact is, AI-generated content is already here. It is a tsunami that's just going to grow as these tools get better and more accessible to people. Uh, look, I think a short story company uh, today announced they were shutting down because they were just getting absolutely inundated with what they call rubbish AI-generated content. And the simple fact is, folks, most AI-generated content is rubbish. And it's because people are using it without the expertise behind it to generate that deeper content which is what we try and teach you here. Get that edge. You know, I'm all about maximizing my edge with AI. And that means uh, absolutely learning how to drive these models. And for me, I'm a content creator. Many of you will be creating content or should at least know how to create content in order to move forward because content is what we consume daily. Anyway, let's get into image creation and show you a new skill. So what I've got for you today is let's get it up there here it is uh, unleash the power of image styles with dali 3 it's a free guide and look what it's going to show you is how to use style to change your images and this is important because when i started using dali 3 um i was creating images it was amazing i can create images now you know i'm i'm not artistic i can't paint but i have a very vivid and creative imagination and AI has given me a tool to actually bring my visions to life. But when I started using it, my images were very generic. If you scroll back to when Dali 3 first came out and look at our content, a lot of blues, a lot of, you know, technical screens in the background, people sitting around a table. You see that same kind of generic style now sort of proliferating. 
So it's important we know how to differentiate our content because if we don't, we're just going to get lost in that tsunami. We need to stand head and shoulders above it. We need to maximize our edge. Styles is one way you can do it. So let's go take a look at what we've got. Um, so basically, we're teaching you how to harness different styles to uh, change your images. And this guide actually has 100 styles, which I'll show you more, that you can use to inspire yourself. Okay, so here's a table of contents. Why does style matter? Making most of the 100 free styles. You can see there's uh, some categories I'll show you in a second. How to actually use this. How do you incorporate styles into your prompting? So there's a bit of prompt engineering training in here. Uh, tips for using styles effectively. Uh, how to blend styles to create real magic. And navigating text in DALI 3. We all know the text is a problem. I've got a solution for you that works probably 80% of the time. Okay, so look at that. We've got niche aesthetics, art movements, technical and texture, and so on. You can read this. It's free. The link's in the uh, description or com comments below. And uh, yeah, so this is going to teach you what you need to know. Uh, it's very simple to get started. I like to make things easy. You know how to add styles. Think about your subject. What do you want to make? And then choose a style. This is where most people don't go. They just tell them what they want, but they don't give any direction to the AI in terms of style. It's the same with any image generator, not just DALI 3, by the way. Style is how you create your uniqueness. So here's some examples that I've included. Check this one out. My goodness. So uh, a majestic lion guarding its cubs on the African savanna. You see ain't the style ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Now, you tell me, let's zoom in just a fraction. Oh, that disappeared. We'll zoom in for these ones. How amazing is that image? Just stunning. And it's going to stand out. It's going to catch people's eye because it's different. Okay? Uh, cityscaping cyberpunk style, right? So you can see how different these images are. Impressionism, garden and impressionism style. So this is just a few of the styles, you know, that are available. Um, so here's the tips, you know, start with inspiration, mix and match styles. It's so much fun. Blend them. You can weight them. There's so much you can do. And look, as I've learned, just experiment, try different things until you sort of lock in your own unique style. And then you can just consistently create that over and over again. Uh, we talk about styles blending. So rather than just use one style, when you add two, uh, it, it dramatically changes the output again. So here's an example. Imagine a vibrant street market. Now, if you did that by itself, you'd get a street market. But this one's alive with colorful characters through the lens of pop art mixed with the digital aura of Vaporwave. And uh, this is what it gave us. You can even go three or more styles if you really want to. So here's a kind of a crazy one. Envisage a dreamlike landscape where melting clocks and impossible structures abound. And we're using three styles. Surrealism, Vaporwave again, and isometric. And look at that. Just absolutely crazy, which was what that image was meant to be. Uh, we had the workaround for navigating text in DALI 3. Um, and a free YouTube video that will actually walk you through it. So you've got the step-by-step -step guide. And then you have your 100 styles master list, okay? And you've got niche aesthetics. So if you use preppy, you'll get clean-cut lines, played collegiate vibes, crisp pastel, pastel colors. Now, you don't put the whole thing in. You just say add the style preppy or Y2K or car wire or cottage core. Okay, so we've got art movements. I'll just go slowly so you can sort of see them as I scroll. Technical and textural, inspired by nature, light and shadow, genre inspired. These are fun, by the way. Children's book illustrations, really cool. Cover art, that sort of stuff. Uh, historic errors. So we just use the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics in our lion picture just for something a bit odd. I really like that picture, actually. I'm gonna probably post that somewhere soon. Uh, mood focused, technology inspired, and literary inspiration. Okay. So look, uh, there's also a whole bunch of free stuff that you can get here as well. So this is a guide well worth having. But look, I need to get real with you for a moment. So let me just scroll here. So I'm going to read this to you because it's important. Step beyond the basics and unlock a world of artistic mastery. Actually, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to tell you what it is. We've actually got a fuller guide that goes well beyond styles. And look, let me just uh, have a heart to heart. I put a post up yesterday about someone very close to us 
very active in this community who was ripping off what we're doing, pretty much copying um, my course, copying my prompts, literally uh, taking my concepts and pretending they're their own unique concept. And I, you know, folks with me, what you see is what you get. I'm very transparent. You're going to see the ups and downs of my journey. I promised and committed to transparency and I'm a human. I'm fallible. I'm, I'm you know, not perfect. So it did, it, it hurt. And I had a bit of a, a long chat with ChatGPT about this actually. And before I tell you the outcome of that, I want to thank those of you that just gave me so much positive reinforcement and reminded me what's important, which is to focus on the people that understand the value we're doing, get the vision that we're here to help lift each other up in order to uh, avoid this disruption or at least mitigate it somewhat. We probably can't avoid it completely, but I wasn't certainly doing this. So you just rip me off and make it your own. So I really appreciate the feedback, really made me feel good. And as a result, I had a little bit of a thing. And what's really occurred to me is, yep, we give a lot of value, but you should see our VIP community. So from now on, moving forward, we're still going to give the value here like that freestyle guide. But I want to show you what you get as a VIP if you really want to go deeper. And this is for those of you that actually value what we do here and can afford $9 a month because it's very cheap, our VIP community. Uh, so here's what you get, okay? So you get the full image mastery guide with our Patreon, $9 a month. And uh, check this out, folks. Um, so there's a big table of contents, but we're talking about how to be specific in your prompts. There's a lot more prompt engineering in here, uh, how, understanding the power of keywords, understanding art terms and how they influence output, uh, the principles of design. So this is a really a much deeper guide uh, it's about three times longer as well uh, and has an extra uh, 10 more categories so you actually get double the amount of styles in this guide here as well and if yeah we'll just scroll through real quick um, but as you can see for everything you've got examples so there is a ton of examples that show you how these all work like if you want to like check that out isn't that an amazing image my goodness um, you know, this is how you want to be really creative. This is for those of you that really want to master content. If you're a content creator, this is going to be incredible. We talk more in detail about style blending, not just adding styles together, but how to actually do it with subtleness and how to weight them and all that sort of thing. Oh, check that out. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful image. So, oh, isn't that amazing? Gosh, um, we look right down at your prompt engineering, your phrasing, your syntax. So for example, using Van Gogh as a reference, look at all the different things you can do with Van Gogh. Okay. So they're all Van Gogh, but uh, slightly different. Uh, using prompts as modifiers. So your setting, for example, your character, uh, and so on. Um, obviously, we've still got the workarounds. We also have a troubleshooting guide here, which is, I think, quite cool. So style confusion fixes when you encounter unexpected results and so on. And some exercises that will help you reinforce what I've taught you. And by going through each of these, you're going to be utilizing a broad range of styles. And you're probably going to start clicking as to the sort of style you want for your images. Uh, and you get 200 styles. We've seen the first 10. So let's go find the next 10 so you can see what you're getting. Literary inspiration, cinematic architectural inspirations, cultural expressions, fantasy realms, one of my favorite, I use these a lot, uh, time periods reimagined, emotional landscapes, experimental mediums, some cool stuff there, sound visualization, you should try that one, it's incredible. Uh, nature's moods, artisan techniques, like traditional weaving, yeah, some cool stuff here. Anyway, so that is what we have for you in our Patreon. And let me show you our Patreon um, so that you can, let me just zoom up. So look, I've already put this free guide in here. It is exclusive to this community, uh, but we've got a cool lot of other stuff in here as well. Let me show you some of the cool stuff. Um, interested what runs ChatGPT from a prompt engineering perspective. You'll learn a lot about how OpenAI conduct their own prompt engineering from this. Absolutely incredible. Uh, you're going to get my full custom instructions. Oh, look, there's a, uh, some exclusive prompts in here as well. Um, so yeah, here's my full custom instructions. This will blow your uh, ChatGPT 
responses into another level and you will never ever turn them off my promise these are amazing uh and so on so look custom gpt building guys we've got everything in here folks and most of this content in here is absolutely exclusive so if you're up for nine dollars a month and you want to get our best content that's where you're going to find it and that's how we're going to sort of stop people ripping off our best content so if they want to rip us off They'll still get the valuable free content, uh, but the real deeper stuff is going to be hidden behind that paywall. And I would like to invite you to join. So the link's below. And uh, yeah, so folks, lots of value today. I hope you found this uh, interesting. I hope this inspires you to create much better content because look, you need these skills. Let me ring that bell one more time. Learn AI. It is the future and the future is now. So let me leave you with that. So that's it for today's video, folks. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below and I'll see you tomorrow with the next video. Peace.